It is Monday night. A pregnant woman arrives at the hospital and gives birth to a healthy baby. However, after a few hours, the baby starts to show symptoms of infections. The doctors start the treatment with antibiotic right away, but unfortunately, the baby doesn't survive. This is the fate of more than a thousand babies every single day. Among the most common pathogens, it is Escherichia coli, also called E. coli, the bacteria with the highest neonatal mortality rate. And the situation is not getting any better. There is no vaccine available to prevent E. coli infection, and the number of babies infected by antibiotic-resistant bacteria are increasing every year. During pregnancy, moms transfer natural antibodies called IgG to fetus through the placenta. These antibodies act as a first line of defense against infections. However, neonates have an immature immune system which makes them much more susceptible to infections, even with high levels of IgG. In addition to IgG, though, there is another group of antibodies present in adult blood that have a very powerful role in fight against infection. These antibodies are called IgM. Newborns don't have IgM, as they are not able to produce it yet, and also because IgM are not transferred from mom to babies. So, what would happen if babies were given IgM antibodies? To test this, I treated newborn mice with mom serum rich in IgM, and I observed a 50% reduction in the mortality rate caused by E. coli infection. The treatment with mom serum also reduced the systemic inflammation observed after infection that leads to organ failure and death. In addition, I developed an in vivo imaging methodology that allows me to visualize infection in real time. This live imaging helps me to understand how immune cells and E. coli interact within their local environment. So far, I can tell you that the immune cells number and distribution are completely different between newborn and adult mice, which may explain the susceptibility to infection as well. Now, my project aims to investigate how this protection is mediated at a mechanistic level. With this knowledge, I'll be able to develop an effective therapeutic treatment to reduce neonatal mortality caused by E. coli infection. Furthermore, this approach has the potential to reduce the use of antibiotics besides help treat many other bacterial and viral infections in babies. As a matter of fact, mums are not only the source of IgM. We all produce IgM as we age. Knowing this, if you could donate blood to prevent neonatal mortality caused by infection, would you?